Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, today I have come up with uh, a new finding of science, the contemporary scientist, uh, which is, uh, nowadays scientists say that the objective reality don't exist. The facts are subjective, not objective. Okay, this is uh, the report uh, which has come just two days back and uh, this paper uh, has been published in Science Advances. So according to this article, in this article, uh, the scientists are saying, the, the theoretical physicist, they say that this objective world which we observe around us, okay, they don't have its own existence, right? So then what is the fact, what is the reality? They say reality is the subjective, not objective. And when they are subjective, it implies that they are uh, indicating towards a system, you can say a particle which is more sensitive, which they are calling observer. Now, as you all know, in the quantum world, uh, there are two things observer and the things which are being observed and in the quantum world quantum world implies the world of atoms and subatomic particles now at that level at that uh, certain level uh, things don't behave uh, the way we see things in our macro world okay in our physical world okay so in the physical world things behave differently okay from the world of atoms and subatom uh, atomic particles that is the quantum world in the quantum world uh, you know there is a state uh, called superposition of everything now superposition means suppose there is a particle in this nature now in the quantum world that particle exists in all the direction in all the states everywhere it has no particular specific location or specific state right so this is called uh, the superposition or super state right now everything is in superposition all the particles are everywhere they are present simultaneously everywhere in, in all the states okay this is called superposition now according to the quantum physics what the contemporary scientists have found according to them the particles of the quantum world remains in superposition until an observer enters in that system this the moment observer enters the state of superposition okay it is defied okay it breaks according to them and they take a particular shape and state so uh, the contemporary scientists they are trying to say that everything all the uh, you know uh, the physical world okay which we can see we can touch okay they depend upon the observer not the particles or you know uh, the matter of the uh, universe the present universe okay so observers play a very very important role not only very important role all the role is played by this observer so when this observer enters okay into this quantum world uh, then the you know everything uh, starts taking into shape okay they take on a particular shape and size and uh, they co they take on a particular state also right so in this way uh, i mean on the basis of this uh, finding they say objective world uh, or objective reality don't exist okay but only uh, the subjective facts are there subject means the observer now friends i want to uh, i just want to juxtapose 
this stand or this position of the contemporary scientist and the position of yogic science in the yogic science we have been saying okay since we have started uh, you know uh, making these videos two years back okay from this since beginning we have been saying that there are three energies or three elements right and in the second element which is uh, the prakriti right in the second element everything is in the state of superposition right and the third element which is the which is the multiple jivatmas okay they are the actually they are the centers or in the language of scientist okay they act as the observer right now it is the jivatma okay which is or around which okay a particular shape is being uh, means it is taking a particular shape okay and a state so jivatma is acting as the observer okay which is being referred to as by the scientist scientists are referring to this uh, jivatmas this multiple jivatmas as the observers right now the language is different okay they are saying these you know centers these jivatmas as observers okay and we are we are our you know language is different okay we are saying it jivatmas okay in many other systems like in theosophical society of india in theosophical society okay they call the jivatmas as monads okay and it is the monad which causes this objective world to appear okay and disappear now in yogic science uh, there are three systems you already know uh, we always talk about uh, the original nature okay or uh, you know in the original nature the, uh, there is a system of three components okay one is the energy of consciousness the second is the prakriti and the third is multiple jivatmas right now in the mool in the original nature okay basically there are two elements okay one is prakriti and the second is the uh, the conscious energy of consciousness now by the influence of these two types of energies okay there are multiple jivatmas which are being produced within the prakriti right and it means what it means the in the original nature the energy of consciousness and energy of prakriti okay uh, these are creating different centers multiple centers inside the prakriti and they are of different energy and they are of different configuration okay due to the different directions different speeds of the conscious energy okay which is running around the around this uh, you know universe which is called prakriti right sometimes this energy of consciousness okay it is in front of the prakriti okay and or where it is direct direct to the prakriti okay so this is so the part which uh, which is in direct contact with this conscious the energy of consciousness okay they are the stronger uh, you can say centers stronger centers of energy okay and the part of uh, universe or the part of prakriti okay which is not in direct contact with the energy of consciousness they are weaker centers it means in the whole prakriti in the whole nature in the whole universe okay there are uncountable multiple jivatmas of varied energy of varied configurations right now the question is which jivatma uh, acts as the observer and which jivatma is centered right and what is attracted towards that jivatma 
so that it takes a particular shape you see according to yogic science according to the findings of uh, yogic science the powerful jivatmas okay which is in direct contact with the energy of consciousness okay they are more powerful as compared to the other jivatmas which are weaker okay although there are you know uncountable multiple levels of uh, this energy of consciousness for all the jivatmas so the jivatma or the monad which is stronger okay they act as the center and around the center okay a it takes on a particular shape it attracts other jivatmas which are weaker right so in this way uh, in this whole prakriti in this whole universe okay various types of things exist okay you know there are multiple galaxies in the multiple galaxies there are multiple planets and non planets so many other heavenly bodies okay and in a particular planet okay there are so many countries in a particular country you know there is a city in a city okay there are human beings animals plants okay so there are various levels of existence and this existence has taken place it has come into being okay due to the uh you know the centralization of a particular type of jivatma okay the jivatma which is stronger it attracts other jivatmas which are a little weaker right so the findings of contemporary scientist okay i am just emphasizing on the fact that the findings of the contemporary scientist are exactly the same as the findings of yogic science okay except for the fact that the contemporary scientists okay they have not been able to go into the deeper details okay of this existence of this universe as yet okay what uh, you know the yogic science always talks about now in the next episode i would like to go even deeper into uh, the nature of this existence okay from uh, this uh, quantum point of view quantum physics point of view okay in which scientists are saying that the observer plays a very very important role okay in order to uh, to exist or in order for this objective reality to exist okay so that is to say the objective reality is not the reality okay but the subjective reality or the reality of the observer or according to yogic science the jivatma which is stronger okay which gets centered okay and it is this jivatma okay which is the main player okay for the objective world to exist thank you friends